You guys want a box of corn? <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, I'm your humble narrator, and welcome to Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Siege. A class based FPS, very different from those I've seen before. So we're gonna do some terrorist hunt today as a lone wolf, cause that's ballin' as shit. Wow, this is actually one we might be able to do. Extract hostage, not so bad, uh, especially if you have Montagne, the mountain man. Uh, Fuse is also okay, but Montagne has a shield. Blitz is also a pretty good choice because he has a shield that has like a blinding effect. But Montagne can extend his shield and like fully protect himself, which I think is pretty cool. Locate the hostage. So I got my revolver. Uh, I've upgraded it with a laser sight, which costs 200 points, and you get like maybe a hundred for completing a mission. So there's good incentive to play. Some people won't like the uh, sort of free-to-play model in a game that you paid sixty dollars for, but uh, it's not so bad, all things considered. Uh, it's not like points are hard to come by and yeah shooting from the hip with this thing off to the side is really not great but when you go iron sights like this you do expose yourself I do like how strong the pistol feels they're gonna come around I think they're gonna try and swoop me um, I don't know god damn it <laughs> I'm halfway thinking maybe repel up the building um, because now they do have a, a bead on me, so it might not be smart to stay here. I could also harass people, uh, through this window. Anybody in here? Now I'm over here. I do hear a bomber. We gotta go. Do 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 do. That heavy breathing is basically a suicide bomber, and yeah, you don't want to be near that. You can shoot upside down while you're repelling. It's it's fucking crazy. Extremely disorienting. I don't recommend it. <laughs> uh, or maybe I do, because I really should practice with it. You get some awesome points for killing people while repelling. Is that inside the building or out? Damn. Well, farting around on top of a building. Not so bad. <laughs> We're, we're gonna get into the heavy action, but uh, I've got to plot it correctly and clear some people out if I can because it gets quite overwhelming in Extract Hostage. It's extremely overwhelming in... Ooh, gotcha, buddy. Headshot and penetration. That's nice. They tell you. You get points, uh, which will give you more points to buy shit. You can get 200 points in one match if you're good, but that ain't me. Damn, I fucked that up. Maybe I should have a pistol with uh, a little more ammo inside. Mm, where are you, buddy? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Is he over there? Is he behind that ventilation shaft? No. He's still down in the hole, I think. I don't think he has access to the roof. He can't repel to the roof like me, but that basically blocks off that entrance unless I can mark him somehow which is not a good thing oh well I'm I'm rightfully scared even though I'm playing as Montagne because they can mark you in like a couple of hits even on normal mode it's a lot like insurgency in that way it doesn't have the stripped down UI of insurgency is that a guy no that was a piece of glass <laughs> But, um, the UI that's there is pretty minimal, you know, there's no mini-map, you have to rely on drones and things like that. Fuck, I hear him right down there. Mm. I can't get to him. Can't get to him. Don't want to jump down there into his, uh, bombliness. God damn it. We're gonna have to find another way in. Another way in! Alright. And this is the... the Weird thing. Yeah, press C to change stance. I will. Thank you very much. Let's try to see if we can peek. Peep at a little something in there. I can't move off of this. So, okay. <laughs> this is the only window we have access to. So let's... Hello? Anybody? Let's get the 
fuck in here. Alright. Are you ready? I'm ready. Fucking four minutes. Far too long to just be derping around outside. I'm so sorry. Alright. Goddamn. Now we're in. Fuck it, fuck it! Yeah, gotta be brave. Calm. Collected. Oh shit. <laughs> I was reloading, friend. Alright, that was the guy, right? Yeah. And even though he's dead, the suit still makes the fucking breathing noise, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit. But I love this fucking game. The gunplay is just so tight, and like, it feels really fun to shoot. Really realistic sounds and whatnot. I question where these terrorists come from, because uh, they talk like Americans. In Insurgency, it's all like, over here! They're over here! I'm reloading! And it's like here, they're just... They're regular ass dudes. Wow, that was nice. Little hip fire. Definitely the laser is helpful with hip fire with the shield, but you gotta be right on top of them. And it's not gonna work with a fucking bomber. Yeah! Nailed! Alright, good. So now we're in the fucking... In the place, doing the thing. No more fear. We gotta find that fucking hostage. Hey, buddy. Flashbang. Too late. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. Told you that, bro. How about in here? Can we go through the fireplace? Let's go through the fireplace. <laughs> Seems legit. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. You can peek around corners with a Q and E, but I need practice doing that. Oh, flashbang. Playing Lone Wolf will also make you really adept at dealing with grenades and flashbangs. <laughs> Don't run forward. If they grenade you, they're trying to flush you out, so run backwards. <laughs> uh, hello? Hello? You? Boosh. Oh, fuck, fuck. Yeah, I knew I was gonna get flashed, so if, like, if I didn't hit him there, I would be in some deep shit. Ah, oh, nobody wants to see that. <laughs> the blinding light. I'm so happy I upgraded my computer, by the way. I have a GTX 970, and did get this game for free with it. God damn. Um, but yeah, it runs extremely smoothly, it records extremely smoothly. Not in 1080p 60fps. <laughs> it was still really stuttery and shit. But I might try a 70-20fps, or uh, 1080, maybe 30fps. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it. It's an experiment, just like this entire channel has been. Holy shit. It is a good thing I had the shield, or I probably would have taken some damage there. And there's many more of them. Hmm. Well. Anything over here? Nope. Box of corn. <laughs> you guys want a box of corn? Just uh, get rid of these. It's also some good experience, so. Why not? 40 extra points on the docket. I don't know if it that's experience. I think it's experience. And then the currency that you get is derived from the experience. Oh shit. Oh shit. I just noticed him in there at the last moment. Uh, hey buddy. Hey buddy, over here. You're over here, buddy. He's reloading. That's cute. <laughs> It was so stupid. The AI is smart, but also a little bit uh, lacking. Especially on normal mode. On fucking realistic, he probably would have turned around and popped me in the fucking arm or leg or whatever's exposed from my shield. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Die. Die, friend. God damn it. I gotta go. I'll be back. <laughs> Uh, hey, friend. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> yeah, I should maybe, uh, when I'm going lone wolf, have something with a, a bit more capacity ammunition-wise, but this revolver is just so sexy. Just pop somebody in the head with it. It's always a one one hit kill. And even if you're not shooting him in the head, uh, it's probably only two or three hits on the body. It does a good amount of damage. They have silencers and things available which dampen weapon damage, but it's also good because it won't alert your foes, which is pretty good, especially for lone wolf missions. But uh, I kind of like to flush them out, honestly. Holy shit. Bad place, bad place. I was not uh, being aware. 
which is kind of why Montagne is one of my favorites, because you just uh, flush people out. Definitely not in multiplayer. If you're playing against a person, holy shit, holy fuck. If you're playing against a person, um, they'll they'll snap you in the legs or whatever if your shield's not fully extended. Oh, and penetration through a cardboard box. <laughs> That's fun. Oh man. So yeah, extend my shield now and just kind of try and lure some people. Yep. Hi, buddy. Anybody else in here? Oh, we got two in here. Great. <laughs> Shield is awesome. I like through a flashbang. I like how they call it out. I might not have noticed. Thank you so much for alerting me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Yeah, just need to take a second to line the shot up. Make sure you hit the head. Do not panic. I'm so scared they're gonna try and flank me. 40 health is not great. So uh, we need to be a little more careful, I think. God damn it. Oh, more, 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 more. Ooh, flashbang. Cool guys, don't look at explosions. <laughs> I told you that once before. Ah, Visual, hostage. hostage. Hello, friend. Hostage Come with me, and then I drop him right here, um, basically just to activate the, the, the spawns that are going to come for me. So I'll take up a, a safer position. Nobody in the meat locker? Nobody in the meat locker. Maybe I should make myself a nice steak. That would make me feel better about all this bloodshed. <laughs> Some more bloodshed. <laughs> but you get to eat it this time. Aw, oh, hey buddy. Get that headshot. You can't have a scope. I wanted to buy a scope for uh, the revolver so bad, but I guess that makes sense. It would just be unwieldy and horrible. Hmm. I don't know if there's anybody else coming. <laughs> Nobody else is coming to the tea party. All right. We'll uh, try and move this hostage. See how that go. Uh, come with me, buddy. Securing Gotta give up my got shield get them to the in order to... Uh-oh. Uh God damn it. Fuck. 21 health. Yeah. Gotta give up my shield. I really like that there is a permanent health loss. That is one thing that Insurgency didn't do. That uh, gives me... Gives me... I don't know. Renewed hope for this game. I know there's somebody out there. I'm just gonna leave them here, hostage. and then I can fucking the hostage. just lure them. Lure them once more. You? Got another one? Oh, flash grenade. Don't look at that. Nobody wants to see that, friend. Goddamn. Alright. Push it to the limit. Winning you! Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Killed one guy without a headshot, and it took like three hits, four hits. And I got the other guy in two, which is good. That's perfect. Damn flashbangs. Hug the wall. Hug the wall! Alright. Ah, damn. Click, click. <laughs> oh, that was not good. Gotta watch that ammo counter. I kind of wish that it wasn't there. Like, Insurgency has, uh, no ammo counter, no UI of any kind. I keep comparing the two. They're really not the same because this is more class-based, which definitely, uh, gives me a renewed hope for it. I think we did it. Unless somebody's out here at the docks. Hey, buddies. No. Nope. Nobody's out here. It's just you and me, hostage. <laughs> You're my hostage now. I'm gonna flashbang you. <laughs> yeah! Fuck yeah! Well Lone done. Wolf successful. So friends, I do hope you have enjoyed. Uh, a little long-winded because I didn't enter the building right away, but what can you do? <laughs> that's that's how success is found. You gotta prep your options or some shit. That's the UN. I don't know. <laughs> if you did enjoy the episode, I hope you will like, comment, and or subscribe, friends. This has been Lone Wolf with Montagne, the Mountain Man. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, friends, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye. See you again. Goodbye, goodbye. See you, my friend.